Hey, hey, and welcome to my channel. My name is Yola and I'm ex endo girl. After 20 years of suffering, I managed to put my endo into remission naturally. And today I'm gonna uh, tell you everything about the endometriosis pain. So let's go straight to the point because I value your time. What you're gonna learn from this video, how to identify endometriosis pain, what might cause your pain, what makes your pain worse, and what to do if you don't have endometriosis symptoms anymore, if you think you uh, put endo into remission, but the pain is still there. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Endo pain is very tricky. If somebody had asked me, Yola, where does it hurt? Where is your endo pain? I would say it's literally everywhere because it's very hard to identify. Some girls, the pain might start in the abdomen, on the pelvis, on the ovaries, but pain can also travel all the way to your back, to your spine, to your arms, and even in your legs. Some girls have more pain during the period or the intercourse, but for many girls, the end of pain is constant. It means it never stops. I used to be one of those girls. I used to pop up the pill with a codeine and drink it with a gin just to get me through the day. So if you are one of those girls, I feel you. Some of the, can and the girls have a pain for urination. For some of us, even bowel movement might be painful. Only 11% of the girls diagnosed with endometriosis will experience no pain. So what might cause pain, you might ask? The obvious reason, endo tissue around your body. So keep it in mind that endo can travel, so does the pain. I used to have endometriosis on my lungs and my intestines as well. Another reason of your pain might be cysts. When the cysts are growing, they might be putting the pressure on your organs and therefore you can feel the pain. It might be additions, it might be scar tissue, no endo symptoms but you're still feeling some pain did you eat something from the red list sometimes inflammatory food can trigger our pain so did you experience any stress stress level is related to pain so if you experience loss if you're grieving or if you had the argument with somebody that can actually cause the pain and the third one that might be things that are left after endometriosis which means uh, some scar tissues around uh, your insides like for example on your intestines some adhesions or it might be even not endometriosis related like for example your gut some girls can feel the pain when they eat something and and sometimes it's not even endometriosis related i hope this video helped if you've got any problems please uh, let me know in the comment section below uh, share it with everyone so we can all come together and heal together as always i love you so much and i'm gonna see you next week bye